So let's take our second example. We are going to find and classify all the critical points of the function f of x, y equals x times y minus x cubed minus y squared. So like we did in the previous example, the first thing we are going to do is to find the critical points. And then in doing that, we want to find the first order partial derivative of the function with respect to x and then y, and then we set them to zero. So first of all, we look forward to finding fx and that is equal to, so we differentiate x with respect to x and then we have one. So one times y, that is y. And then minus, we differentiate x cubed with respect to x, and then we have 3x squared. And then we differentiate negative y squared, and that goes to 0. And so we have fx equals y minus 3x squared. Next, we find fy, and that is also equal to, we differentiate y, we have 1, and therefore we have 1 times x. So that is x, and then minus, this goes to 0. So we differentiate negative y squared and that becomes negative 2y. So the next thing is we are going to set each of them to zero. Now at this point, let's call this equation one. And then here also we have zero equals x minus 2y. Now at this point, let's try to make one of the variables the subject. So we can choose to make x the subject. We transpose negative 2y to the left hand side so that we have 2y equals x. Let's call this equation 2. So the next thing is, since we want to find the values of x and then y, we are going to input x into equation 1, and then we try to find the value of y. So we put x into equation 1, so that we have 0 on the left-hand side equals y minus now x is 2y so minus 3 times 2y all square so we have 0 equals y minus 2 square is 4 so let's say we have 3 into bracket 4 times y square and then 3 times 4 is 12 so we can simply write 12 y square at this point, we have a common term, which is y. So we are going to factor out y so that we have inside of the bracket 1 minus 12y. So for here, we have y equals 0 or we have 1 minus 12y equals 0. We transpose negative 12y to the right hand side. We have 1 equals 12y. We divide through by 12 because we want to find the value of y. And then we have y to be equal to 1 over 12. So we have y equals 0 or y equals 1 over 12. Now let's input the values of y into equation 2 to find the value of x. So for y equals 0, we have x equals 2 times 0 and that is equal to 0 so we have our first point to be 0 0 and then for y equals 1 over 12 we have x equals 2 times 1 over 12 2 goes here once 2 goes here 6 times so we have 1 over 6 Therefore, we have our second point to be 1 over 6, 1 over 12. So these are the two points of interest. So next, we are going to classify these points. So we are going to classify this point. So in doing so, what we are going to do is we are going to find the second order partial derivative of the function with respect to x, with respect to y, and then we also try to find the mixed partial derivative of the function. So first, let's find fxx. So we have fx to be y minus 3x squared. So we are going to differentiate this function with respect to x. And that becomes the second order partial derivative of the function with respect to x. 
So we differentiate y, we have 0. We differentiate negative 3x squared. And then we have negative 6x. Also for f, y, y, that is equal to. We differentiate x, we have 0. We differentiate negative 2y, we have negative 2. And then if you want the mixed partial derivative of the function, we have f x y to be equal to. So considering this function, we are going to differentiate this with respect to y. So we differentiate y, we have 1. We differentiate negative 3 x squared, and that goes to 0. At this point, we are going to consider each of the two points. We are going to consider each of the two points. So first, we have the point 0, 0. We have the point 0, 0. So considering the point 0, 0, first we need to find fxx at the point 0, 0, and that is equal to, here we are going to replace 0, we are going to replace x with 0. So we have negative 6 times 0, and that is equal to 0. And then for fyy of 0, 0, here we have a constant value, so it remains the same. And then f x y of 0 0 we also have a constant value here that is 1 and then next we find d which is equal to f x x of the point 0 0 times f y y of the point 0 0 minus f x y of the point 0 0 square so this becomes we have this fxx of 0 0 to be 0 so 0 times negative 2 minus 1 square this becomes 0 minus 1 and that is equal to negative 1 so we have d to be negative 1 now since d since d is less than 0, then we say that the point 0, 0 is a saddle point. That's from the previous lesson. So you can, you can go back and then you check the conditions that we specified in the previous lesson. If d is less than 0, then the point is a saddle point. Now let's try to classify the other point, which is the point 1 over 6, 1 over 12. So also considering the point 1 over 6, 1 over 12. So we are going to do the same for this point 2. So first we want to find fxx of 1 over 6, 1 over 12. And that will be equal to, we have negative 6 times x. x is 1 over 6. And that becomes negative 1. We have fyy of 1 over 6, 1 over 12. That is a constant value, negative 2. And then fxy of 1 over 6, 1 over 12. That is also a constant value, which is 1. Then to find the value of d, d is equal to, so we have fxx of 1 over 6 1 over 12 times f y y of 1 over 6 1 over 12 minus f x y of 1 over 6 1 over 12 square so this becomes we have negative 1 times negative 2 minus 1 square so negative 1 times negative 2 is 2 and then 2 minus 1 is 1 therefore we are going to have d to be equal to 1 so we have d here to be equal to 1 now since d since d is greater than 0 and fxx is less than 0 because we have fxx 
of this point to be negative 1 so since d is greater than 0 and then fxx is less than 0 it follows that it follows that the point 1 over 6 1 over 12 is a relative relative maximum point it follows that the point given is a relative maximum point now if you want to find the relative maximum value then you want to find the value of the function at this point the value of the function at this point so let's see where we can do that so we are going to have f of 1 over 6 1 over 12 and thus we are going to replace x with 1 over 6 and then y with 1 over 12 in this function so the value of the function at the point 1 over 6 1 over 12 is going to be 1 over 432 so we call this the relative maximum value so relative or local maximum value and because this is a relative maximum value and it occurs at the point 1 over 6 1 over 12 it also means that this point is a critical point so in as much as this is a relative maximum point it is also a critical point a critical point so this is a critical point and that is a saddle point